Hey everyone, welcome to what is going to be the final episode for season one of the adventures of Ziggy Goldust. We're up to I think episode 27 at the moment. It's by far the longest I've ever played a character. Um, that's what almost a month, um, assuming I played every day and I didn't, so it's even longer than that. Now I have promised a second season to follow this one, so we'll get Ziggy Goldust 2. Now that won't be another 27 episodes because it will just be another Zig, but still. So there'll be one more Zig after this one, and then at that point, probably, um, not probably, I will be doing it between other series. So it's like, you know, I'll play a straight game, and then maybe we'll do a Zig or two in between, and so on. Uh, for this first Zig, we've got three more floors to go. Uh, we're at Zig 25 right now, and then it ends up on... Zig 27. So a little bit left. Um, these should be harder than any of the others that we fought. Now that's not necessarily true because um, the floors, how difficult a floor is depends on what theme it is. For instance, Panlord floors are always going to be more difficult than say the Orcish Mines floors and so on. Um, a Holy Floor, for instance, is always going to be absolutely terrible for this character as a mummy. Quick check on our training. We're doing some sort of unholy <laughs> combination of skills. Armor and dodging and then air magic and focusing evocations. All right, uh, that is some combination of skills. And I think that's about all we need to think about right now. Um, at the end of it, we're probably gonna have to continually keep thinking about what items I can drop. Um, yeah, that's going to be an issue from here on out. Probably the Wand of Random effects will go next. Anyway, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got to keep doing some zigging. But be first, uh, I try to say but before that and but first at the same time. <laughs> uh, but be first, I want to show you something from Wapix. So uh, he emailed this to me. Uh, he said over the Christmas break he had some downtime, so he designed a new YouTube banner for my channel. Uh, not sure that I'll actually use it, but I want to show it to you because this is utterly amazing. This far surpasses anything that I can actually do myself. Um, I'll put a link to the an imager, imager. I'll put a link to the picture so you can see it yourself. And also in the description, I'll put a link to uh, a time lapse. So uh, Wapix has shown what he did to make it. It's pretty interesting if that sort of thing interests you. Uh, but we can have a look at it. So here on the left is, uh, <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's the Spriggan Chondra that I played using optimal trap avoidance strats. Uh, so here we have the, I don't know if you recall, when we ran around the lair being chased by 30 something wolves. Uh, so that's a bit there. <laughs> uh, the fulminant prisms there, and of course the quad storm clouds chasing a hydra. Uh, in the middle, of course, we have uh, everyone's favorite Ziggy Goldust. And the amount of detail in here is actually incredible. You can see that Ziggy's laying on a bed of large shields. And apparently, I don't actually recall this, but I've been told that there was a point in this playthrough where I thought a plain demon whip on the ground was one of my mana vipers. So I don't know about that one, but apparently it happened. So there's a demon whip. Um, our spiders from Mars, <laughs> it's a wrap folks. And then on the right we have, uh, this is the Octopode Wizard of Nemlex, reading from a book of Dad Jokes, Volume 5. Uh, seriously good stuff. Is that? Okay, that's a slice of pizza there. <laughs> I don't know, this is seriously, seriously good. I'm honestly continually mind blown by the stuff that you've all been sending me. There are obviously some incredibly talented, not even some, there are a lot of incredibly talented people who are into crawl. So yeah, it's really amazing. Keep sending me stuff. I love it. It's great. All right. Thank you again, Wapix. And again, if you're interested in having a look at that, look in the description. So let's do some zigging. Got a little bit left. And then this will be my second ever zig, if we can manage to get through it. Um, I think we're still not going to buff up. What have I got on B? I've got nothing on B. 
So I'm going to put the staff of energy on B. I'm doing that with equals I. Uh, it's probably, it makes more sense to walk around with the staff of energy out. Uh, not that we care about spell hunger, but if I decide that I want to um, evoke it for more magic points. Whereas if we're going to hit stuff with a demon trident, then I can switch to that. Right, I'm scared. It's only the second time I've been this deep in a zig ever. Uh, Phantasmal Warrior, so this is probably another undead themed floor, uh, which is fine. That's not the enemy, sorry, that's not the summon I wanted though. Uh, this might be a, this actually looks like it's an abyss themed floor. Uh, now that we're seeing ancient Zymes and Nekasex. Okay, uh, well if there are a lot of wretched stars that's always horrible, but I mean, I'm, and a Draconian, that's not an abyss enemy. I'm going to keep walking in, looking to find a bunch more enemies, so we can, uh, not immolation, whatever that thing's called, ignition them all. Yep, okay. So we see our first wretched star. If we get a whole bunch of these, and they all start doing their pulsing thing, corrupting pulse, uh, if I'm not careful, we could end up getting to stat zero. But, I don't know. Only one should be fine. <laughs> I don't know, there's something very satisfying. Uh oh, I see halos. That's a worry. Halo means holy enemies. Um, a wretched stars resistant to fire. Yes. Uh, they're also flying. Hmm. So we might have trouble killing those guys actually. And the, the holy auras also called halos in some circles, um, are scaring me too. Alright, uh, at this point I'm going to look at the crystal ball again, <laughs> as I say, and immediately regret my decision, but no, we're okay. Because um, all this stuff's kind of spread out, so an ignition here is not too exciting. Uh, probably what I want to do is start trying to get vile clutches on these wretched stars and probably I should get it on this axe I didn't pay attention to what sword it is either a battle axe of venom, okay not too scary uh, as long as it's not whatever that thing is called uh, holy wrath is the main scary one wait can we not vile clutch wretched stars hang on let me see this is important There is all these messages of distracted by nearby gold. It's very hard to see anything else in the message log here. Okay, so zombie hands grab the battle axe. The wretched star is unaffected. Alright, so it turns out that this is another enemy that we're not real good at taking down. Uh, resistant to fire doesn't really care about shadow because it's flying. And they keep being spread out. Come on guys. If you could at least stand together, we could get more value out of ignition. Yeah, we're getting pulsed. Um, we're still okay. All our stuff is still at uh, max. So, um, I guess let's try to find some more enemies. This race can now slow us. Um, I'm half tempted to do a random blink to get away from the race. So we're at least not risking a slow. Does it matter? Probably not. Just keep going. If we get slowed, then I, I can always um, potion petition for haste. Uh, we'll keep going. I don't want to look at the uh, crystal ball of energy right now. Our magic points are too low for it to be uh, a viable thing to do. And we still have three wretched stars. Yeah, it's okay. We just need our server to kill them all. Oh, well the server to kill the angel, that's nice. Uh, I don't like the... The, what's it call it? Mass up there, Star Curse Mass. Those guys scare me too. Alright, uh, well the wretched stars go down if they get hit by a bunch of fireballs at once it looks like. Uh, but we're out of magic points. So this is why I've got the stuff of energy out. I'm going to evoke it. 
Okay, it brings us back to eight, so we can do another ignition. Um, I think that barely did anything. Hmm. Time to potion petition for magic? Question mark. I want to say yes. Okay, where is magic? The last one for seven hundred gold. Resistance, flight, heal with securing and magic. Okay, really the only thing I care about there is the magic, but. Oh, that's a fair bit. That's pretty good. Do we just... I think I just failed an ignition. I didn't see any fire. Did I? I don't know, there are too many too many message logs here, but I didn't see any fire. I think we failed that. So uh that's unfortunate. Air magic goes to seven. Uh this stuff is really not getting hurt. Ah, turns out infernal corruptors are immune to fire. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was looking at that guy and I was like he's not taking any damage. But he's never going to. Do we just fail again? You hear a sizzling sound. We miscast ignition. Wow, so I think we just miscast it twice at 3% failure rate. That's uh, super unfortunate. Hmm. Well, what does this mean? Uh, oh, we're still okay. We're basically still on full HP. I'm going to keep attempting to get some magic points back. Okay. Some other random stuff coming. Maybe I want to shatter at this point. Uh, yeah, I feel like most of the flying things are gone. The only one left is the wretched star that we care about. Um, so I guess we'll go for a shatter. Oh yeah, that worked well. <laughs> that actually uh, hurt the infernal corruptor there. Um, gonna go for more magic though. I don't know why we're not getting slowed. That is a torpor snail, but I can see no slow status on us, which is a bit of a head scratcher. There we go. Now we're slowed. Let's go shatter again. Okay, get rid of that stuff. Um, and I guess it's no. We can pull more magic out of this. There we go. Alright, so how many potion petitions did we use there? Just one, I think. Uh, but as this gets more and more difficult, as we go into deeper and deeper zigs, uh, we're probably going to have to start potioning petitioning at least once per floor, I imagine. I might get to the point where I want to even start pre-buffing. No spells. 10 phantom mirrors. No spells. Uh, we're not... Uh... No, eh, I'm trying to think, I don't know if there's a way to see that whether we know helmets, as in the different types, it probably doesn't matter, I'm thinking of um, acquirement, whether the fact that this might be say a helmet of C invis, because we've never seen one, whether that means it has uh, increased acquirement chances. But I'm not going to bother. Still no spells. Okay. Alright. Uh, so I can hit control F and dot to search all the stuff on the floor. Uh, if I do control X, it will only do the things that I can see. So for instance, to be here, we're, we're not going to see anything that's out here, which we might miss. So control F and then dot will show everything on the floor just to make sure there's nothing there that we need or want. Um, I don't think so. Nope. Alright, I think we keep going. We've still got our deflector missiles up. We're going to bring out the stuff for energy to start. And then on to Zig 26. We ended up uh, at the end of that only losing one strength and one deck, so that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was a little bit rough in terms of running out of magic points. Um, as our evocations gets higher and higher though, I'll become more and more 
um, comfortable with using the crystal ball of energy because then even if we mess up the stuff of energy will be better with that as well see trees I see a wyvern all right well we can fight a wyvern it's not too dangerous of an enemy what does that tell me what what would wyvern mean are there spriggan themed floors no it's a death trick Oh, it's a dragon themed floor. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, we don't have Aralek. Should I put that on? Um, if we're going to be seeing a lot of storm dragons, I probably want Aralek. Okay, yep. Cheers. That one. Uh, we can still cast our spells just fine. Oh, rip out deflect missiles. All right, we got it back. Never mind. I guess this is like a um, a bit of a lair themed one, or maybe a hydra themed one, because we've seen a wyvern and a hydra, which are both enemies that uh, you would see in lair. Uh, and those two are definitely not. Well, a wyvern is like a dragon, right? But a hydra isn't. I don't know, I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to find something that makes sense, but I don't think it really does. Uh, note that Ignition is not really going to hurt Fire Dragons. That's okay. Uh, here's a Gold Dragon. Okay. I'm just, I'm using the Crystal Ball a bit more... Uh, preemptively this time uh, which might totally bite us in the backside here but I'm doing it um, note that because all these dragons are flying they're not really going to care about shadow um, so ignition's our play even though it doesn't really hurt the gold dragons or the fire dragons uh, for those ones when they reach us I guess we'll just fire clutch them There's a lot of gold distraction. Look at this message log. There are a lot of things dreaming of imaginary riches. I'll go one more to let that other gold dragon get into range. Okay, Emmet goes to eight. Uh, if we had tornado, it would be really useful here. Is it in our spell list? It's not. I should learn it because uh, now that we have. <laughs> 8 air magic, it's not much. Uh, but with a brilliance, I don't know, maybe there's some situation where we could kind of cast it. Um, I'm gonna make a friend. While I'm standing here summoning, or while I'm standing here evoking back magic points, I may as well have a friend who's just continually iron shotting stuff. Let's make it two friends. One friend who iron shots and one friend who pokes. And I think we are done. Which means we're onto the last sig floor. Bets on it being a panlord floor. No spells again. <laughs> the rapier of exquisite death. Uh, not that one. I don't know. At some point, I'll probably stop identifying these. That's like <laughs> the Mace of Dung, which is an accurate name for that. Uh, Scrolls of Amnesia. All right, so our spell list. Uh, things that we don't really need. Uh, do you ever use summon butterflies in Zeke's? I kind of doubt it. Uh, you certainly don't use Passwall. That's one. Uh, we're never going to be passing through walls here. Yep, and let's also forget... Um, at some point, Spectral Weapon will stop being worth using. Uh, I love that spell though, it's my favorite spell in the game. Uh, 
and some in Minor Viper will also become not so worthy. Um, I feel bad getting rid of Summon Mana Viper, so I'm going to leave it until we uh, run our spell levels such that we really do need it. Um, I'm going to hide Silence, Passwall, Fitted Cloud, Magic Dart, Ice Beast. I have all these spells in my list that we're never going to use. Bolt of Cold we won't, Freezing Cloud we won't. Uh, these we will. Um, I'm going to learn Tornado now. Goes on to G. Um, I'm going to put that on Q, which is where Passwall used to be. Let's see what's what we're missing, if anything. Uh, nothing. Which means we're onto the last floor, final floor of the first sig. Ooh, deep breath. Uh, are we gonna buff? No. Uh, because I'm I'm confident this is not gonna be a panlord floor. It's gonna be a nice easy orc floor to, to end on. Uh, actually let me before I forget switch back our rings. Uh, we don't need the RLX ring on. By default, I'd rather have the ring of Muli. It gives us seven extra in and a little bit of AC, etc. Okay, I don't know what to make of these two enemies, an Ancient Lich and a Yaktor Captain. It does not tell me what floor I'm up against. Uh, am I just gonna block this, or am I gonna random blink? I'm gonna random blink. <laughs> Get away from me. Okay, still unsure what this floor means. Uh, that's a Mana Viper, and that's a Gold Dragon. <laughs> I meant to do a Servitor, not a Mana Viper. At least, if I, if I um, amnesia Mana Viper, I'd at least stop casting it when I mean to do Servitors. So that'd be one upside. Okay, this is a very strange group of enemies. Uh, let's uh, ignition, I guess. And here's an orc. So this floor, oh, it's a it's a vault themed floor. Okay, that makes sense because here's a here's an iron heart preserver. It's like this group of enemies just does not make any sense. We got ancient liches, we got orcs, we got gold dragons. Uh, but now that I've seen the the vaults only enemy, um, I think that makes it a bit more clear what we're up against. That was a titan. Okay, uh, something happened there. I think we got our skill to some level. Evocations to 13. Alright, cool. Um, I'm just going to shoot our Lamp of Fire. Uh, it's a little bit of extra damage. Turns out we missed almost everything except for the Gold Dragon who doesn't really care about fire. So that was a bit of a waste. Um, and I guess it's a Shatter situation. Uh, it's only the gold dragon who's flying and he's nearly dead anyway. Uh, I see an orb of destruction coming in. I'm going to try to engineer the situation such that it hits the titan. Like that. Is that what happened? It hit the crystal wall. Oh, unfortunate. Let's uh, get some more magic points back. I may as well have the titan stand in the fire as well if he wants to hit us. Uh, I realize that we have no Aralek. Eh, that's okay. He's gonna go down to shadows in a sec anyway. Good. Alright, um, I'm just pulling more magic. Uh, we really need a lot more evocations for this to be good. Uh, so maybe I'm gonna do one more shatter here, and then probably we're going to potion petition for magic. Because we're only getting one or two magic points at a time. Which is a little bit scary when you have five ancient liches and a titan etc on your screen so one last shatter now let's potion petition let's try and find magic curing and magic 
should do it for only 230 gold that's a bargain gives us uh, one more shatter's worth of magic points uh, and another evocations to 14 all right one of these ancient liches just made a titsimal and there's also a torpor snail here which is slowing us all right so i think we want to push and petition again uh, get some more magic, uh, which is not in our list at all, uh, but we may as well get haste. Uh, resistance might haste, or might add you brilliance, heal wounds, and haste. We don't really need the heal wounds. The brilliance is not a big deal. Uh, probably the resistance is the better one, since we are not our elect and there are all these titans around. So go with that one. Uh, but we didn't get the magic, so I guess we... We pull from our list again. Uh, no magic again. Hmm. Well, in that case, I guess we go for invis and agility. That's um, unfortunate. We'll try for a third time. There's magic. Uh, I'm going to go for the second one because the first one is, is made up of things that we already have. So heal wounds curing magic, it'll take us back to full HP. Alright, and now we're going to shatter again. I really just want the Sitsumul to die, that's the main thing here. Although, maybe an ignition would be better. No, I think shatter's just fine. And one more. Okay, good. The sitsumul is gone, so I feel a lot better about this now. Um, everything else is kind of flying so we'll vibe clutch it and we'll make a servitor and then it, oh that's a moth of wrath okay hang on uh, this is ignition time again I don't want to have all these gold dragons and titans etc berserking so uh, the moth of wrath flying which means ignition is the better play uh, we don't have enough magic points for shatter anyway so it had to have been this one good and then at this point, I think it's only stragglers that we're picking off. Yeah. Things have stopped coming. Well, our bus finally running out. Okay, so that's the the most the most potion petitions we've had to use in a floor there with three. Uh, but we came out alright. Still no, no spells. Where's our... Um, what is that thing? Oh, you see here... If, if, Figurine of a ziggurat. I've got to make sure that I pick this up. Uh, but we still have not found Firestorm or Crystal Spear. That's a Strength plus 5, Slay plus 2 ring. I think we're going to ignore that one. Uh, Shiny Buckler we're definitely ignoring. Okay. Let's 100% make sure I pick up the new figurine. Uh, which means I've got to drop something. I think probably the the wand of random effects. Um, while it is funny to haste ourselves up before flaws, um, we can just use potion petition for haste anyway. Uh, at this point, we've got thirty two thousand gold, and even spamming potion petitions with the amount of enemies that we'll be killing in Ziggs, uh, we're only going to be going up. So I think we can ditch that one. Where is it? There. Uh, that It has been very useful though. So it's definitely a tip that the devs don't want you to know. It's just at this point in zigging, I think we're fine. Control F, period, shows us all the items. Uh, nothing else. Let me just see. I don't trust these new menus anymore. <laughs> yep. I definitely have the figurine in my inventory. I'm going to double check before we leave. It's down there. Yeah, we're good. Uh, if you forget that, you won't be able to make further ones. <laughs> so don't forget that. I think the game might give you a warning when you try to leave. Okay, apparently not. Okay, interesting. So that's our first zig done. Uh, that's the second zig that I've ever done. Ever. Um, so I'm going to be heading into unknown territory by heading into a second one. Uh, my understanding is that after the first one, there were are called Mega Zigs. 
basically the more zigs you do the more intense they become the floors get bigger the enemies become more dense and they become more difficult so for instance whereas our um, orc floors have had orcs as you get further and further into mega zigs your orc floors will be almost entirely made up of things more like juggernauts and um, what else is in there? Not Titans. Um, Iron Giants, I think. Stuff like that. Alright, well. Uh, I'm not going to start the second Zig yet. Uh, because that's going to be a new series. But I'm going to ditch all this stuff here. And we're going to do a few things that uh, I've been waiting to do. Okay, I, to be honest, I completely forgot about them, but it's a good thing uh, you viewers are very um, observant and have good memories. I'm just going to throw all my enchant armor scrolls on this fire dragon scales because we have nothing else to do with it. And I'm going to take care of a bit of unfinished business because that's what uh, the, money, the mummy mummy is all about business and getting rich so the first is the crab vault in lair <laughs> at this point we're not too afraid of crabs I don't remember which lair floor it's on it's on one of them oh yeah I also someone reminded me that what I've been doing when I've been looking for firestorm is searching my spell list but it's possible that um, Firestorm has spawned in our game, but it's in a shop, so I need to search outside. Uh, definitely no Firestorm. What about Crystal Sphere? No. Okay, so there aren't any books with those spells either. So we have just been incredibly unlucky. We've done extended 15 runes, um, and now an entire Ziggurat, and we've never found Crystal Sphere or Firestorm. Where is this Crab Vault? We've got to teach some lessons here. Uh, the first one is to Mikey with his crab vault. We've got to teach him that we're not afraid of his crabs. <laughs> Coming back on a Zig character to kill a lair crab vault is maybe a bit, um, a bit of overkill. Uh, we could just shatter all this open and just kill all the crabs at once. That way, we'd really teach Mikey a lesson. <laughs> All right, and what what loot were we giving up? A box of beasts. There you go, and a lightning rod, some random amulets and ropes. All right, cool. So that's the first one done. Okay, get a bit of extra gold out of that one. The second one is that there is a transporter vault somewhere. Oh, and it looks like there's some ghost vaults. How about we do all this stuff? Did I really never kill the Lonian Hydra? Alright, we have a lot of business to go about. Hang on. I it says Slime 5 has the Royal Jelly. There's no way we didn't kill the Royal Jelly. I know that one's a lie. Um, I'm sure I killed the Lonian Hydra. But anyway, let's go to Swamp 3. There are a bunch of ghosts there. <laughs> Who's this poor ghost? Binal. He's an adep adept vine stalker berserker of Trog. Okay. Uh, oh, right, he's flying, so he doesn't care about Shadow. I'm like, why is this guy so invincible? I'm a zigging guy. I should not be afraid of ghosts anymore. Uh, well, again, we got some more gold out of it. We got a another scroll of fog. Very nice. Um, let's just ID this potion. It's potion of magic. Just so we know. I think over time I will start identifying the potions rather than the random artifact weapons. Um, let's look at our list again. We've got uh, Rune Doors in Elf. Elf 2. That's fine. That's just um, the Hall of Blades. Uh, there's another Ghost Vault in Vaults 4. And then there's transporter in crypt that we need to go do. Alright, well that's kind of on the way. So vaults for. Hmm. 
Where is it? Down here? He's just on his own, Aurelian. A human berserker of Trog. Alright. Well, you're going to go down to Servitors. So, no loot in that one. And then we go into Crypt. I think it was Crypt 2. Nope. Crypt 1. Okay, this is the second lesson we need to teach. So, we could very easily just go in the normal way and do this transporter. We're strong enough. But we need to show Gamma Funk what's up now that we've got Shatter. We're going to do this backwards. We're going to shatter open the loot here from the vault and steal it. That is a pretty amazing amulet. Um, actually, no, it's not that exciting. Uh, assuming we didn't have the four wins anyway, but still. Hmm. Minus five on that ring. Minus five evasion, rather. Alright, now, we could really thumb our nose at Gamma Funk by just stealing all the loot and not even dealing with the monsters in his transporter vault. Uh, but at this point, it's free money, so I'm going to go do it. That's a Mono Viper, that's not what I meant. Yep, I'm going to hit my Mono Viper with Shatter when we get decomposed. Oh yeah, that just reminded me, I think the Cursed Skulls get utterly owned by Shatter because they count as bone enemies. That sounds correct, right? The It's a skull. Uh, but one, uh, <laughs> an unvisited transporter. Alright, we better take that just in case. Alright, good. Now are we done now? Unvisited transporter. Oh yeah, we better take the exit one as well. Okay, good. Done exploring. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one shadow there just completely killed that cursed skull, even though it's flying. Okay, so I need to remember that one. And then I think we're basically done here with unfinished business. I don't believe for a second that Lonnie's still running around. Um, similarly, I know we killed Despada because I have his stuff. He's not still in Dis7. So some of these are lies. Maybe that means they died out of vision. Uh, in any case, uh, that's going to be it for Season 1 of The Adventures of Ziggy Goldust. Uh, so we have made it through our journey to the center of Zigwon. Um, and then if you join me tomorrow, probably, uh, we're going to do a second Zig before moving on to another playthrough. See you then.